Microsoft Office 2010 and 2013 make it very easy for you to remove the background from an image, making it transparent. It gives it a cleaner appearance, and if you're printing your document, it can also save ink. With the background removal, Word uses special algorithms to determine which parts of the image are the background, and then it removes those areas from the image. So I'm going to select this image by clicking on it once and you'll see that I have my tools and over to the far left I can click on remove the background. Now again, Word tries to decide which part should be foreground, which part should be the background. I'm going to need to do some of my own work on this, so I'm going to mark areas that I want to keep. Clicking on the plus sign. I will have a pencil and I just simply drag over the parts that I want to keep and you'll see it just continues to add pieces that it sees that are similar in color. I will have to do quite a bit on him to get most of this tiger to show up. But he's got a lot of background in there that I would like to take away. So I'm just simply making little straight lines around the parts that I would like to keep. And if I were to add too much, I can take that away by clicking on the minus. I believe I just about got him there. There's a part up here that's showing some background, and I would like to remove that. So I'm going to click on the minus to mark those areas to be removed. So this area that's kind of a green color up here on the top, I'm going to select that to remove. I notice that I need to add a little bit to the ear, and so I'm going to click mark an area to keep, and we'll make the pencil line up here, and a little more on the left here. Okay. Now I can take a look at this and see what I think of it. If I've got enough of it, I'm going to click on Keep Changes here. Yeah, and it's not too bad. There's a few areas where I believe I'll go back and fix that. If I really wasn't happy with this and I wanted to start it all over again, all I need to do is click on Reset the Picture. If I want to work on him some more, all I need to do is click on Remove Background. And now I can continue to mark areas to be removed or mark areas to keep. If I accidentally mark an area that I don't want, then I can click Delete the Mark. 